episode of Quake and Bake. So today I really wanted to make something curvy because I've been wanting to do it for a really long time and I'm finally getting around to doing it and I thought cake pops would be the perfect curvy treat. So I have some cake pops ready to go. If you guys need instructions on how to make cake pops from scratch, I'll put a link in the description that will show you how to do it. So we're going to start decorating and I'm going to use some white fondant and I'm going to add a little bit of red food coloring and this is gonna be for Kirby's shoes. So grab a tiny bit of white fondant and we're going to use this red gel food coloring. We're gonna make a little indentation and just place in the color in the center and then we're just going to knead it into the fondant. If it gets a little too sticky, just add some powdered sugar. Once you're satisfied with your red, go ahead and roll them into little oval shapes. These are going to be Kirby's feet. So once you have it rolled, put it in the fridge to chill. So now we're gonna go ahead and melt some chocolate. So I'm gonna use some pink candy melts and this is going to be for Kirby's body. All right, so my chocolate's all melted and ready to go, but before we get started with that, I prepared a piece of styrofoam. Um, I made some holes in them so it's easier so that the cake pops can stand. And you're also going to need some jelly bellies or jelly beans. So these are going to act as the little arms for Kirby. It doesn't matter what color they are because they're gonna be covered with chocolate. So we're gonna work on the arms first. So now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your cake pop and I already have one arm attached on this side but what you're going to do is you're going to grab your melted chocolate on a spoon and you're going to dip one side of your cake pop in the chocolate. So you should have a little bit of chocolate on like that and we're going to grab a jelly belly and just place it on like an arm. So you're going to have to hold it for probably 10 seconds so that the chocolate can dry a little bit and you're gonna do that for all of the cake pops. So once the chocolate on the cake pops have completely dried, we're now going to dip them into the chocolate, the whole thing. So make sure your chocolate is nice and runny and you're just going to turn the cake pop upside down and dip it in and pull it out. And you're going to let the excess drip towards the bottom because we don't want any streaks hanging off of our Kirby arms. So you're just gonna kind of twirl it for a little bit, let it drip off, and keep twirling it until it's com not completely dry because we're going to add the legs while the chocolate is still wet. So now before the chocolate dries, I'm going to add in little Kirby feet on the front. So I think it's almost done dripping, so I'm gonna just Add one foot onto the chocolate right here and just hold it for probably 10 seconds so that the chocolate can dry around it. And then we're going to grab the other foot and place it on as well. All right, so once Kirby is all covered in chocolate and it's completely dry, we're now ready to do the decoration. So I'm gonna use these piping gels. I'm using a number two tip. So we have black, blue, and this is a gel sparkly red for the cheeks and a white for the whites of the eyes. So let's go ahead and do his face. So once you're done adding all of your decorations, you now have adorable little Kirby cake pops. I love these, they are super cute and they were really easy to do. These are probably my favorite cake pop that I've made thus far because they're just so adorable. I love them. I love you, Kirby. If you guys try these out, be sure to tweet me a picture at Eyes Cup Week, or you can leave a picture on the Facebook fan page. Also, leave a comment below if you want me to make anything for next week's episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am Cupquake, and I will see you later. Bye!